We're about to lose one. Get the intruder. Copy. We're almost there. Security breach. Attacking the area. Security breach. Shit, I've got movement everywhere. Everywhere. Contact! Yo, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to a little more Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Blacklist Despise vs. Mercs multiplayer action. It's that time of the week again, and it is Blacklist week this time around, so SVM Blacklist. Uh, and uh, we're heading to everybody's favorite map, the Virus Vault, or at least, at the very least, it's my favorite map. Uh, I, I have had some great battles here. The, the map itself, the sectors, really designed, I, I think they're well balanced, you know, for they don't really favor one side or the other, and uh, you can have some great just some great wars that take place here for the intel, you know. Anyway, uh, the action gets pretty intense early on here. As you see, I hit a nice little tease right on uh, on Vortex Magus's nose as he put down my teammate. And in fact, my teammate is in fact carrying the same clan tag as him, so I think they had entered the room together. Just simply got split up, you know. Anyway, allows me the opportunity. Both Gunnut and myself had moved this way. And, in fact, Har had as well. He had fallen to Vortex, however. But it, uh, all that, that mess at the start, allowed me to get in here uh, as I came out on top and got this hack going on the C sector. Now, Vortex has returned, and he dropped that Intel device immediately. Forces me to, to get a little creative here. Uh, I Kind of lucky that I didn't get spotted by a second man moving in, but I think a lot of them had probably seen me pop up on their HUD. You know, with that uh, that red silhouette, and we're all tracking me around to that back office. So I think I got a little lucky there. And then some slick slicing and dicing as I was able to not just take out the man tracking me, but a second man coming in who I think had gotten tased by Har's stun crossbow. And then a third man late to arrive on the scene. Well, he paid for that, didn't he? Yes, he did, with a little taste in my cold steel. And again, Vortex coming in here. Dropping that uh, that intel device immediately at the door I'm forced to bring out the EMP grenade I think Yadov had probably had his neck already got before the EMP grenade was dropped But if uh, perhaps I shook things up a little bit down there on the ground level giving him the opportunity to close the gap Not really sure there, but Yadov playing a great role here as he's guarding the door Watching underneath and that uh, charges it one more time this time not so lucky against Milo as uh, he puts him down, and I get a little lucky there. As you can see, Milo, he was checking the location. Simply stepped out a little bit too far. Whether he saw me or not, I'm not really sure. He was kind of looking the other way. He certainly was going to struggle there to get the angle on me. And I was getting ready to drop down whether I was going to be allowed that death from above or not. I was going to go in slicing and dicing and try and protect that hack and those dying the second. So we bring it in with some great teamwork. You saw Yada working the door. You know Gunnut was in there. He was working the other door as he gunned down uh, Cobra there. As he was coming in in the dying seconds of that hack as well. And uh, we kept the place basically on lockdown once we cleaned them out. We, uh, we cleaned that sector um, with that after that initial charge, you know, after we, we basically eradicated the Merc presence and, and almost just didn't let them back in. I would, I would go so far as to say that. Anyway, and a hack picked up really quickly here on the A terminal. You can see a couple of Mercs cutting through the B sector. I'm trying to tie them up a little bit, but they are, well, Milo especially. You have to watch out for that guy. I don't think he's carrying the elite rank, but he is... I'm pretty sure he's reset his stats. He was definitely a threat. And there are a few guys, and I'm going to stop concerning myself so much about that because I think a lot of guys do reset their stats. And uh, I, I don't think you can really gauge a person by the number in front of their name. You know, you can't gauge their skill level. You have to play against them and see what they're made of, you know. And there are a few good players over there. Ernie, the best. Milo, you see them both up there right now. However, I would say overall, we probably had them outmatched, as I think Har uh, is also a pretty solid player. I've played with him since then. This is this is going back several weeks, this round, this footage, in fact. So, it's been a while since I had captured this. And, uh, and I know I played with Har since, and he was pretty solid, you know, pretty well-rounded player. Anyway, I do manage to get in here on the guy I'm really looking to take down right now, which is Milo. As I shut him down, he was 
just watching the rest of his team's back and uh, and putting some fire up on on our door defenses, you know, kind of keeping the rest of my team at bay. Uh, he did, somebody, no, it was uh, Cobra had dropped that mine. I thought I was doing a pretty good job. I had swept for the mines. I even took one out. If you notice, right after I got Milo's neck, took out that mine that was keeping my spies at bay, my teammates at bay. Unfortunately, you know, I just made a wrong step over there by the terminal. As Cobra, probably the weakest player in the game, I don't... And I don't mean that as an insult, but I think he probably was a little bit outmatched against some of the guys that were in here, you know. But he does get a little, you know, he does he does put me down. He does shed my blood. He did blow me to smithereens with a well-placed mine. You can see Gun and I, we've fallen into a <laughs> pure synchronization at that for that one split second anyway. As he decides to break off, perhaps he just didn't like the look of it. You know, didn't like the look of that and just moved on, you know. Wisely, though, you know, you don't want to b both of us be running the exact same path. That's how you die. That's how you get killed. You get put down again with this damn Intel device and Vortex. And uh, I'm getting a lot of shots being sent my way. However, somehow with a little smooth, you know, some smooth footwork, uh, I managed to get up and over the, uh, the wall, or I don't know what you'd call that exactly, the refrigeration unit. And uh, down over the other side, through the, uh, you know, there was, uh, there was a goddamn disruptor in the area. The intel device was down there. Somehow I made it through all that gunfire, got in there on Vortex, took out the intel device. And now I'm having my problems against Milo, who, uh, for the most part, I would say was probably the best mark the other team had, you know. Um, and, uh, he, he, you know, almost like he baited me. And I, I don't know what I was thinking exactly the way I r ran off those crates. I probably would have been smarter to have just sat on the on the skids there or whatever the hell they were in that little bit of cover and hopefully grabbed Milo as he was coming around the corner. Kind of jumped the gun and I came off them funny. So, and then tried to double back and at that point he had taken several steps in reverse and had, had just increased that gap and it almost made me being able to get in there and get his neck impossible at that point in time. Anyway, no no real harm done. As we can, you can see, we're, I mean, we've got two terminals at this point. Uh, the team is really, you know, uh, melding together, you know, cohesively right now. And uh, and we're, we're coming out on top. Har manages to sneak in and actually get a little bit of intel off of that, that B terminal. So that's nice to see. And it won't be the last time we touch it. Uh, will we be able to bring in the full 100% or the full 300% at this point? Who knows? Who knows? You can see Gunnut made a run in there. Yadav in there doing some serious slicing and dicing. He does open up a window for himself to go in there and touch that terminal. Or at least he got onto it. I think uh, Ernie the Best moved in there and filled it, pumped him full of lead. But with all that going on, it allows me to get in here uh, into this upper office in, in kind of a, you know, um, taking the, the, the back road in. The road less traveled, perhaps. As I get in here, uh, being a little wily, and I'm just kind of waiting for the, uh, you know, the next wave of my teammates to move on into the area. I do get Milo's neck, which was nice. That was a, a revenge kill. That was quite, uh, quite satisfying. I have to admit. And I'm moving up on this door for uh, Cobra, who's posted up on the other one. I kind of jumped the gun here. You know what? I had the one EMP grenade left. I was, I think, I was pretty well aware of the mine. Um, thinking back, I mean, it was kind of obvious just sitting right there. And I probably should have used the EMP grenade, maybe jumped the gun, but at the very least, I cleared this door of any type of opposition and allows Gunnut to get in there. And uh, it allows, you know, through it all, Yadav managed to pick up the hack, and as Gunnut and Yadav cross paths, Gunnut really becomes the, the damage sponge. You know, he plays the distraction. He pushes forward while Yadav tries to disappear into some shadows. And, uh, and now looking off in the distance, everything must have fallen apart without old Ertzy there. No, no, you know, it just goes down that way, you know. And uh, I'm coming in a little late after having fallen, just uh, at, a, at a bad time. And, uh, you know, all the action had died down. Everything had cooled down. There were three skulls representing my three team teammates in my sights. And I'm forced to back up with that that great VX gas down at the, at the main door. Because I figured I was just gonna I was just gonna sit there. The way they had been set up earlier, we had Milo at one door, we had Cobra at the other, and they were just kinda watching those two locations. So I figured somebody was gonna come in and, and, and try and post up yet again, and I was gonna get their neck when they did. However, they, they forced me off that location with that VX grenade, which was well placed. But uh, a little, again, a little fancy footwork, a little smart uh, circle, come back around, come in on the flank. 
come in through the other door and I managed to get this hack going. But it's not long before Milo again pumping me full of lead, shutting down my hack, sending me to the next life, sending me packing, yes. Now I should do a, f a little rundown on the kit, it's nothing we haven't seen before. The stun crossbow, I, I did get a lot of requests, you know, this is going back several episodes, uh, for some stun crossbow gameplay. I've been using that much more often, and again, I did make mention that this video is going back in time, it's a bit of a blast from the past, dusted off. Several weeks ago I caught this footage, and I've used that stun crossbow quite a bit since then and uh, have gotten pretty proficient with it at times still completely botch my shots at times but that just happens you know the consistency not completely where I would like it to be with the weapon but I'm not doing too bad anyway it's the digital ghillie suit this is the old faithful for the most part with the stun crossbow and the F40 digital ghillie suit the sonar vision RFD disruption a takedown gloves ID blocker pants Whisper boots and the EMP grenades, and there we go. And uh, we're going to have enough time here to really make one last attempt at this terminal. As you can see, Yad of Lovey here, or Lovey, leaving the match. I don't know what happened there. Maybe he accepted an invite. Maybe he got dropped. I don't know. He was having a pretty good run in there. We saw him doing some serious slicing and dicing at times. So I don't know why he would leave. Maybe he just likes to play as the spy, and that's enough for him. And I don't, I don't much enjoy players like that, you know. Because those are the guys that basically ruin the round when they leave mid midway through the game, you know. <laughs> you know, when they start as the spies. It's no good. It's no good. Anyway, I do get in here. It's some serious working over of Ernie the Best. Doing a, you know, had him had his, uh, him all tied up over there. As I try to get in on this, uh, on this terminal, I'm doing some, again, some serious, some fancy footwork. As I get around Vortex, come on, on top of him. And get the slice and dice, stick them, and stick them good. And uh, obviously, this is Milo moving in the area. The VX gas is being tossed around, forces me way out wide, way outside the perimeter right now. And I'm and now I'm just kind of creeping back in. And again, the grenades are coming my way. Another VX gas, and he's obviously listening for the hacking, the coughing, and uh, and damn, he is on the hunt, you know. So it's just the three of us in here right now, Har, myself, and Gun Nut. We're taking, I think we've probably got this B terminal at this point as deep as uh, as we've gotten it. And uh, and we're not doing too bad. You see Har falling. I don't like seeing that. I don't know where the hell the Gun Nut is. Gun Nut, where are you? Well, he's dead. He's dead. Milo gunning him down somewhere, kind of off camera. Wasn't quite aware of, uh, of his position. I'm really, I'm, I'm left all alone in here now against three swarming mercs that I can see. Guys are starting to close in all around me, and uh, a little bit of bad luck, I don't know, I didn't get quite high enough on that, uh, uh, again, I think it's like a refrigeration unit, I didn't quite get high enough on it, wanted to get up to the upper level before I started shimmying across the ledge, leave myself exposed, rounding that corner on the, uh, the low ledge, and uh, who was it, Milo, maybe Ernie, I'm not sure, one of the two obviously gunned me down and uh, stopped that hack at 58% but we're looking pretty good right now you know 258% and uh, some decent numbers for myself there one hack and a 12 and 5 you know and the gun not right below me with an 8 and 11 hard bringing in that other hack bringing up the rear and uh, and the yad of whatever the hell he had I don't really know I don't really know um, but he was certainly an instrumental a key component of our team and uh, the success that we had here anyway I uh, we switch sides, we switch roles, bringing out the Mercury. We've seen this before. Again, I haven't really swapped out the... I, this is, again, going back in time several weeks, but I haven't spent too much time revising my my loadouts, you know. I've gotten a few new things in there. But uh, this is that old... Uh, well, it's the Adrenaline Junkies outfit, you know. Elite Adrenaline Suit, RFD, Vision, a Flash Protection Visor, Armored Gloves, Pocket Pants, Running Shoes, Frags and VX, you know. We're going on the assault. We're going on the rush with this weapon, with this uh, loadout in particular. And you can see Ernie. You know, I was uh, dealing with a uh, several. There was one hell of a charge that went in there. There was a few of them. I, I did my best to deal with a couple of them. I uh, I ripped Ernie full of lead, but he just he he has a way about him when he's closing in like that. Just enough of a zig and zag, and a, you know, <laughs> he just closed the the gap quickly enough that he was able to grab my neck and stick me and send me to the next life. Uh, the weapon is the ARX 160. Red dot sight, muzzle brake, armor piercing rounds, weight balance, match grade trigger, and the accurized barrel. And here we go, I'm right back in here, looking to shut down this hack. I was not pleased with the way things went down. And, uh, goddamn, I'm gonna be damned if they're gonna get this hack, if they're gonna get this terminal on this rush anyway. As you can see, the grenades are flying. I'm getting RFD pop-ups all over the place. That's a sticky cam, so that was kind of a bad choice. 
wasting a grenade on that. I think by the time I already, was already pulling the pin, it was only once I started pulling the pin that I really realized what that was. But uh, taking out the sticky cam does force Ernie off his position. I'm a little worried there. Had he stepped forward, he may have been able, rather than run away, had he stepped forward towards me, he may have been able to get my neck, you know. That guy, again, he's got a way of charging in on me that... Uh, that uh, I, get, I get a little erratic with the fire and I just can't seem to hit the mark. But in the uh, that cloud of death, that smoke cloud, so somebody got in there. I think it was Milo who got in there and he jabbed me that time. Slit my throat and uh, I'm forced to watch the action. What's left left of it play out from, cam from the camera, you know. So there's still a bit of a spy presence. There was one hanging around in there. Gun nut left standing. The, the firewalls do reestablish, however. Has the, I had taken out the hacker, which was my key goal moving into the area, you know. And again, the charge continues as somebody was closing in on me there. Um, Ernie the best, one more time. Looking to come back for a little revenge. That time, he didn't like the way things went down. Was looking to come back and uh, prove his worth to me. But no, somebody else, despite him falling there, somebody, one of his teammates, probably Milo. Maybe it was Cobra. Who knows? But uh, somebody has picked up this hack on the A terminal, and it was Milo. You know, that's the, the the guy that you gotta watch out for. Between him and Ernie, I think they were the two big players on the other team. Don't want to take anything away from necessarily Vortex or, or Cobra, but uh, those two guys did seem to be the ones that you had to watch out for, that you could not take lightly at all, you know. Anyway, Ernie's in the area as we see Gunnut fall in the distance, and he ends up mounting this helipad, forcing me away from it. You know, I, I, I did a bit of a double take there. I almost made a run for the ladder, but I didn't like the... I didn't have a good sense for the timing that was going to play out. I didn't like that, you know. I felt like I was going to get up that ladder and probably be eating a blade, having my lips sliced off or some jazz like that right in the face, you know. As uh, I was pretty sure Ernie was going to be right there to meet me, you know. Anyway, so I, I backed up. Anyway, we quelled the uh, the assault moving in on A. Uh, but they do, again, they pick up this hack. It's uh, it's Milo. So after he got put down on A, he had headed straight for this sector and did pick up this hack almost immediately. And uh, this is him. This is him. He's, uh, he's forced to, to scramble a little bit. I think I got a little lucky there. It was probably one of those instances where I shouldn't have been zoomed in with the weapon. This gun does fire pretty nicely from the hip at those ranges. Can, uh, it keeps the, the spread on it. It's pretty compact. And uh, so long as you're aware of how your, your bullets are firing, you can probably make good use of it from the hip, you know, on those chargers. And often that's, that will cost my life. Anyway, uh, just tracking down Cobra here. Who doesn't seem too comfortable in the spy gear. He wasn't looking too bad as the Merc, but he doesn't feel, it doesn't seem like he's too comfortable yet as the spy. As he just got himself in a really bad location there. And uh, perhaps didn't know what to do to try and stop the Merc. You know, he didn't even make an attempt to try and stop the Merc. Uh, myself there, from uh, from closing in on him and, and stealing his soul. No. He simply tried to cower into the shadows, and uh, you have to, you'll, you, this is just something you pick up with experience. You know, you're, you're tempted often as the spy to try and play stealthy, but you, you have to have that nice blend of stealth and aggression, you know. Well-timed aggression is key. Uh, you know, it's just something you learn with time, and, you know, the greats, they know it. They, they pick it up quickly. They know that aggression as the spy uh, is, is essential in, in uh, success and good gameplay. And here we see, I think that was Ernie with the thermal vision. And uh, just the way he was moving around with his uh, <laughs> with his with his cloak suit on, with his ghillie suit running. Yeah, it was. It was Ernie. I put down Cobra, and eventually I just got a little overwhelmed. I think I put down Vortex as well at one point. Magus, um, but uh, Milo, the last man standing, does manage to get in there and uh, and shut me down. Yes, I did. I put down all three of the other three because Vortex or Vortex Magus was the guy carrying the hack that I put down initially, and he was playing a little too brazenly, you know, stepping out on that helipad with the stun crossbow, you know, exposing himself like that to a little bit of my fire, and it cost him, cost him the hack, really, you know, because at this point it's been shut down, but again it's it's been picked up, this time uh, Vortex coming back, looking for a little redemption, you know, <laughs> you could really, yeah, if, well if he had carried it, it would have been worth it all, you know, was looking for a little redemption, didn't like the way things had gone down last time when he got put down carrying the hack, uh, was probably kicking himself a little bit in that penalty box, and was looking to come in and redeem himself. Now, somebody has fallen as Ernie's on the hunt yet again, doing a little slicing and dicing. I did hear that uh, stun crossbow ring off as well, and we see Gunnut fall into a pool of his own blood. Um, and Milo, obviously this is going to be Milo, who would come back to life and again reposition immediately, 
basically just abandon the A sector. It appears as though that's the style of player he is. He likes to try and get a jump on the new sector uh, while the mercs are occupied back at the last one, while those firewalls are reestablishing, you know. So he doesn't have the drive and determination to really go after and, and continue with those uh, with those hacks once, you know, a couple of, once a, the hacker has fallen once or twice, you know. And that's not always a great thing, but sometimes it can be of great benefit, you know. So he's picked up this hack, and look at this, Ernie on the hunt, just doing a spectacular job. Did he really just do that? Slice and dice both myself in the nut with a little bit of, uh, with a little bit, a little dash of ghillie suit, and a little splash of EMP, yeah, shaking things up. As Vortex moves in and takes down his buddy Har, as they both, I don't know if I made mention of it, but both Har and Vortex Magus have the clan tags, woo, so they obviously came in here and uh, were our teammate. Our teammates or friends know one another and simply got split up, you know, onto uh, opposite teams. So the hack going, it's starting to get a little deep here, as they're about to cross the, uh, well, they've crossed the 70% mark, there's a pickup vortex chasing a, you know, tracking a gun nut there. And and there's Ernie. Put him down. Ernie the Hunter. Put down Cobra. There's three of them. Where's the madman Milo and his hack of death? Looking for him. Can't quite can't quite see him yet. I'm looking though. I'm looking. As uh, somebody was making a sweep at the back office, I thought this was probably the other likely location. And there he is, lurking in the shadows. Hoping I wouldn't see him. I saw you though, sir. I saw you up there. <laughs> and down you go. And the hack got shut down there deep. And that really, right there at that moment in time, pretty well sealed their fate as uh, getting two terminals and then another 58% is just not going to happen at this point, you know. Anyway, Cobra gets caught off guard and he's forced to scramble. Uh, almost got away, but uh, I got him in the ankle or something. Oh no, here we go. Uh, you know what, I left the area, that was, uh, I forgot all about this, but uh, I had, you know, I don't know if you were all watching, but I went in there, I took out Vortex, I took out Ernie, then Cobra, and then finally tracked down Milo, and I thought because I had done them all in, I could leave the area pretty well, you know, with worry-free of that they would pick up that hack before their firewalls reestablished, and no, Vortex being the first man to fall, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, the first man back on the scene, you know, that's where the determination to try and pursue those uh, those uh, those sectors, those hacks that have gone deep, you know, rather than abandoning them like Milo likes to do, uh, that's where that determination will pay off. As you can see, he brought it in, you know. So brought in that deep, it had gone deep, it had been shut down, they, the spies had been eradicated, but Vortex managed to split the, uh, split the uprights, thread some needles to get back in there. I think the, uh, myself and the rest of the mercs, we were playing it a little carelessly, as I think most of us had left the area and just left the terminal exposed for Magus to come back in and pick it up, you know. So good job, you know, good on him, bringing in that hack. And, uh, and they have this one going immediately, as, as you can see, this is what Milo likes to do. Abandons the, the one sector in favor of the one across the map, you know. So he picks up this A hack, and will he be able to take this one deep and really make it look like a respectable round? Not to say that it isn't, you know, because these guys, you know, you can see Ernie making a great approach on me there. I was looking just awful with the pistola in hand. But uh, he shook things up nicely with the uh, with the EMP grenade, had his ghillie suit active, and, uh, and did a great zigging and zagging in my way and uh, forced me to taste taste his steel yes <laughs> as he there. jabbed good me good and again i'm watching i'm watching the action from the camera from the sidelines as ernie continuing his slicing and dicing ways putting down har putting down gun nut damn god damn and this hack going deep as well time winding down you know victory is ours but they like i said these guys they're certainly <laughs> they're certainly looking to to make this match look a little bit closer than perhaps it had been a few minutes ago, you know? Vortex doing a spectacular job, shutting both Gunnut and myself down on the approach. That should never have happened. I was well aware of him there. The man obviously doesn't have the infiltrator helmet on, the infiltrator goggles, as uh, he was well, um, you know, he was popping up all over my RFD vision. So, and I think that was only being prompted by his, uh, by his vision mode, his thermal goggles or whatever the hell he's wearing there. And they, they bring it in. 200%. 258% to 200%. God damn it, Vortex. Magus. Die, Magus. Die. And uh, I stick him right at the end. Those are some big numbers for me, I have to admit. You know, the 40 is uh, is a rare plateau for me in, in a Blacklist round. I don't get up there too often. But it's nice to see it when it happens, you know. One hack for myself. I also brought in 56 of that 58% on that third one. Uh, five defense, 40 and 11. Pretty nice, you know. Pretty nice. Gun nut right below me. Two defense, 1623 har. 
11 and 23, one hack for himself, and a Yadov who only <laughs> stuck around for the spy action, was having a great time there, was playing his part, was doing plenty of slicing and dicing, has shed plenty of blood, but he, he took off mid, mid game, or it didn't even make it to mid game, he just left with like 30 seconds left in our spy round, you know. Anyway, bottom level, Ernie the best. Uh, he is a pretty good hunter on the spy side of things. I have to give him that. You know, he was, uh, he, you know, he he made some key kills at key moments to allow them to, you know, bring in or, or initiate some of these hacks, and was almost uh, able to bring in a couple himself. I think. Uh, well, he did. He brought in that very last one on the A sector. So one hack for him, two defense, twenty-one and eighteen. Uh, Milo, no, no, wait a second. I could have sworn Vortex Magus had been the one to pick up the uh, the B sector. Maybe I was wrong though. Maybe it was Ernie who had picked up that hack, you know, in the B sector after uh, my team of Mercs had all abandoned it, myself included. So anyway, Ernie with the one hack, two defense, twenty one and eighteen. Milo, the other guy that uh, was really, he was one of uh, probably the best Merc out of the four of them. Um, one hack for him, two defense, twenty nine and fourteen. Uh, Vortex, not too bad. Two defense, 10 and 21. Cobra, as I said, I think I made mention early on, probably the one guy that uh, was really just a little bit outmatched in here with the 4 and 21. He felt, he looked, he appeared to be really uncomfortable in the spy gear, but that, you know, that's just a stage that we all have to go through, you know, especially if you're getting into the game at this stage when there's a lot of experienced players out there that you have to square up against, you know. And that's how you learn. You play against uh, some good players. You see what they're doing. You take your lumps, and you hopefully you get better next time around. Anyway, people, hopefully things get better next time around. Probably not, though, with the 40 coming in. You're not going to see much better than that here. Um, I thought it was a good round. Lots of fun, you know. And I hope you all thought the same as well and enjoyed it. And we'll show a little support and thumb it up. And hopefully I'll see you next week when the next one rolls out. Maybe in between then. Checking out some of the other stuff going on on the channel. Anyway, until next time, remember why it hurts. Later all.